addressing journalists from various media houses on his arrival at Seabed Express. The new chair of the Extractive Industry Transparency Initiative International Secretariat, John Frederick Renfeld, who is also the former Prime Minister of Sweden, stated that Sierra Leone's natural resources has great potential to develop their country if used correctly with the right extractive tools and regulations in place. He maintained that after various scrutinies, Sierra Leone will finally be validated and probably taken into the Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative Secretariat. Well, um, Sierra Leone is uh, rich in natural resources and um, the ITI has a standard that the implementing countries, Sierra Leone being one of them, has to follow to ensure that we get transparency when it comes to revenues, and when it comes to licenses and contracts linked to natural resources, so that we can show the people of Sierra Leone what kind of resources that comes out from national resources and to get a debate and hopefully to use these means in the best interest of the people. Commenting on the emergence of the country from the Ebola scourge, John Frederick Reinfeld reiterated that the EITI will definitely take into consideration the impact of the EVD and make concessions if necessary as they have done before with other countries. Well, you are rich in natural resources. We have many examples of that. Um, it's very important that this is used for investments, uh, for um, making everyday life better for the people of Sierra Leone. Um, we are here to help to get instruments to fight risk of corruption, uh, to have more transparency that you can see the revenues that comes out of these uh, resources and that you could also be there to direct that it's actually used uh, to change the life of people that live in Sierra Leone. And that's what we are here to help. And we have an international standard, and the international standard is important. It's implemented by 51 countries. Half of these countries are African countries. Um, and of course, it's very important for international investors, international companies coming here to show the world that they are following this standard. During an interactive deliberation with the delegation and other civil society organizations, the National Minerals Agency Director General Sawunde stated that transparency and contribution to economic development are some of their main focus, and they hope to dispel the belief that even with all the country's wealth, the economy has little to show for it. He went on to state that with the new steps being implemented and planned for tax revenue, they hope to produce records of renewal of the extractive industry and arrival of change. In fact, transparency is one of our core strategic objectives. We, we have committed ourselves to be a global leader in transparency. So, and we have been working very closely with the EITI, minor and other stakeholders uh, in the extractives, the EPA, NRA, Petroleum Directorate, the uh, Office of the uh, Chief of Staff, and so on. So, <coughs> We have been very, very committed to um, what you have been trying to do in terms of making sure, because as, as we all know, this perception of the resource, so-called resource costs, Sierra Leone endowed with mineral wealth, but doesn't have much to show for it. And, and we are fully, fully committed to reversing that. And which means, obviously, we must ensure that we collect what we're supposed to collect and also utilize it properly. So this fits in with what we are trying to do here in the agency and, and I can assure you that uh, we have full support and full commitment to make sure that all the, the principles outlined in that document are uh, fully implemented by us. For Star TV, Sewa Kale reporting.